Hey, what is good everyone? Chris here. Welcome back to the channel. And uh, today we're gonna do a uh, edit of a portrait that I shot uh, of my daughter not uh, long ago. And I wanted to include this in my book that I want to release for my family. 2020-2021 book with all the photos that we shot during the pandemic and all the craziness. As well as 2021 when we're recovering. This is gonna be a gift for my parents as well as my in-laws and for everyone in our family who wants to have a memory of us because we're here and they're back in Europe, we're in the United States and there's a long way and we couldn't uh, go see them and uh, we usually go every two years but there was a pretty pretty long wait and they probably deserve this um, and I'm very happy to be able to document what's happening with us and publish these, um, let's say, captures in a book and put it somewhere where we can remember about it. Uh, many years from now. Now, uh, I just wanted to uh, show you exactly what the medium format does. As you can tell, uh, my uh, daughter's eyes are pretty sharp. Actually, it focused on the eyelashes, but the uh, depth of field is so thin and uh, you can tell that uh, on the hat, this is the part where the focus is and every and any other part of it is uh, out of focus. There's a very shallow depth of field it's at uh, 3.5, which is around 2.8, I think, in full frame. So uh, if you're uh, shooting medium format, be aware of uh, what aperture you're using. I wanted to have that blur because the background is actually the wall that I'm shooting my videos on, uh, the part of my studio, and it doesn't look very well, especially with this crown molding on the back that um, it bothers me a lot. So I wanna have a little bit of a blurry background. Now let's start with the editing and you can tell right here in the corner we have a little bit of a red piece of texture I think that was on my couch and my daughter was sitting on the couch so I want to remove this and because the book that I am telling you it's going to be a one to one a uh, uh, square book. I'm going to crop this in a square format and I want to just remove that uh, you know red blotch over there because I don't really uh, want to uh, clone it out and I think this looks pretty well. I don't want to cut a lot of this more um, inscription on her t-shirt because it tells the story of a kid. It's more, uh, always more with them and I do love the way that matches the entire portrait. So I think this looks pretty good. It's a uh, square format, uh, looks very nice for portraits. I love the background, it's all leveled, so we don't need to do anything uh, in terms of calibration of the uh, level calibration. So let's start with the edit. I'm gonna raise the exposure because I underexposed it probably uh, half a stop. Yeah, now it looks pretty well. I'm gonna give it a bit of contrast, probably plus five. I like a bit of contrast in my portraits, especially with people that have bright eyes like my daughter. These blue eyes are looking good if you're giving them a little bit of a contrast. Then I'm gonna um, put the highlights down, probably minus 10 and rest the exposure around probably minus uh, plus 20. So um, now it looks exactly the way I want it. I'm not gonna temper with the white balance right now and I'm not gonna change the profile right now I'm gonna show you why and uh, we'll continue it until we get into the tone curve and then we're gonna go back uh, like I said the whites and blacks I probably raise the whites a little bit and go down with the blacks not too much but probably around 35 will look good it creates more contrast and makes her face pop a little bit more i actually used a uh, continuous light the light that i'm using for my videos the aperture 120d uh, right here on the left and uh, I, I was trying to create a little bit of a uh, rembrandt light but with kids it's tough and like i said she turned around from me uh, when I was shooting because her mom uh, got into the room and I waited until I got this face of her telling uh, her mom that we're having a photo shoot. That's amazing, amazing face and uh, kids have great, great, uh, let's say, uh, 
grims and grimaces when they're, they're trying to uh, be funny or they're trying to uh, evoke an emotion and I love this this uh, face uh, right now. Now, um, as you can tell, there's a, a little bit of a red blotch here, which I can clone out, but I won't because, like I said, it's a document a documenting. Uh, th though it's a portrait in a studio, it's still documenting for me, and I I don't want to uh, remove everything that was in the photo except for things that might be distracting. But this is something that she'll probably remember. Maybe it was a bite uh, from a mosquito or an, any bug, and she'll probably. Remember years from now. Now, um, like I said, we have a little bit of contrast in this photo, so I'm gonna raise the texture probably plus five and go down with the clarity. I always go down with the clarity minus 10, minus 15, depending on the photo, because I wanted to have that soft look. Uh, probably on this one, I'm gonna go even. A minus 20 and that's pretty much it in the basic module i am gonna go and raise the vibrance maybe a little bit probably plus 10 plus uh, 15 and uh, go down with the saturation because i don't need that much saturation in it now it looks very natural and going to the tone curve i'm not gonna dabble with the parametric i'm only using the point one i'm gonna raise the blacks uh, a little bit and come down with the whites and then give it a little bit more shadow for more contrast and that faded look that I uh, pretty much like for my photos and then raise the highlights to uh, create the contrast back because if you can see uh, if I'm going down with the highlights the picture becomes flat and I don't like that um, I'm gonna raise it up probably around here now it looks pretty 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 good and we're going back to basic for the last adjust adjustment that is the temperature uh, and the white balance so for me the tint is pretty well i'm gonna go to a uh, warmer look so i'm gonna go a little bit up with the white balance probably around here and maybe a little bit more magenta to pop those reds and uh, yeah that that looks very very nice and after that we're gonna go to the colors i uh, believe that the colors look very well i will probably lower the yellows a little bit maybe uh, just a tiny bit not much because uh, it seems to me that there's too much yellow in this photo and maybe go a little bit towards orange to create that blue and orange look now it looks very nice i love it and in the blues i'm gonna go towards um turquoise just a tiny bit as you can tell this is too much but if i'm going probably minus 15 minus 10 it's gonna have that uh, turquoise and uh, orange look yeah i think minus 10 will look pretty good and that's it minus 10 looks amazing and i'm gonna raise the luminance on the orange to get rid of those hollows that i said just a tiny bit not much but a tiny bit uh, that that's very helpful uh, because it actually increases the uh, light uh, on the color that is uh, you're then you're trying to to modify and uh, that is pretty much it this is the portrait that i will probably print now uh, when you're doing prints the most important thing is to increase the sharpness and the vibrance if that's what you want to have for me it's going to be the sharpness but not much i'm going to increase it probably just a little bit uh, so it was at 40 i'm going to go 45 probably and it's more than plenty right now as you can tell her eyes are popping a little bit uh, more in terms of color i'm not going to touch the noise reduction though because i want to have that grain in the photo and uh, that makes it a little bit more special and not so clinic uh, i don't like clinical photos and uh, you know colors and everything else that's why i'm modifying everything that i'm modifying in my photos and that is pretty much it now if i want to go a little bit deeper i will probably go with a little bit of a vignette but i'm not doing it here i'm gonna do it using a radial filter and i'm gonna go very very uh much above all the edges of the photo and i'm gonna start doing it right here and see how it looks and uh i'm gonna go pretty probably like this will look very good and now if you look at the photo it has a little bit of a focusing point uh, it uh, draws your eyes to her face because that's what it matters in a portrait so yeah uh, this is how it looks without and this is how it looks with i'm not sure how 
YouTube renders this but it's it's a bit of a difference that I pretty much can see now this is for the color and if we're going into black and white uh, you're probably wondering why I'm not just transforming this in black and white and I'm gonna show you right now what that means if I want to use black and white uh, I will probably go right here and press black and white you can tell that the photo doesn't look uh, good actually their eyes look totally unnatural and I am gonna go back to color and keep this photo in color Color. and in this duplicate I'm gonna do uh, pretty much the same thing and for the black and white I'm gonna copy the settings here I'm gonna not use the color correction I'm not gonna use the white balance and I'm only gonna use the tone curve and the clarity and everything else but the color correction and uh, that's that's pretty much it I'm gonna copy this and go back to this photo and paste the settings and that's it you can have the photo now and make it to the black and white and it's a totally totally different uh, situation i'm gonna go again with the crop and i'm gonna set it up to a square this red spot that it was in the last one is not visible but i'm still gonna keep the same format so i am gonna crop it off and that's it now we can go definitely in black and white and change things right here because I transform it to black and white so I'm gonna make her lips a little bit darker her eyes uh, and her t-shirt uh, I'm gonna uh, bring them a little bit to life and give him a little bit more uh, let's say uh, luminance and uh, yeah that's pretty much it as you can tell when I'm playing with the aqua her eyes are changing uh, the color in her eyes are changing so i'm gonna raise it up not much uh, i don't want her to look like an alien i think the orange needs to be uh, put down a little bit probably plus 10 as well as the yellows uh, to uh, be up a little bit probably plus five so this is the portrait this is what we have i'm gonna show you right now this is the black and white portrait and this is the color portrait as you can tell they look pretty much the same and she looks good in both of them uh, we have the uh, vignetting we can actually do more vignetting in this one if we want to I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna make it smaller and uh, like I said do more vignetting for this one probably need to go back a little bit and uh, make it look a little bit more vintage I don't want to affect her eyes so yeah this is how it looks now so let's see it in full this is the black and white this is the color black and white color let me know in the comments below which one you like the most i will probably include the color one because i like her eyes but just let me know which one you like the most and thank you so much for watching this video maybe it will help you edit your photos better even if they're just family photos and not necessarily client photos I hope you're gonna subscribe to the channel more and more and uh, reach that 1000 that I am uh, looking forward. It's my first milestone and I'm very happy about it. Please don't forget to also give these videos a thumbs up. It helps with the algorithm and uh, shows these videos to more people. And uh, like I said, comment in the box down below and let me know which one of these photos you like and I will definitely see you in a bit.